the first exercise I ask um, women to do, um, since I work with women mostly, is to, to do an audit of their day, a time audit, in the sense that I, I ask them to put down um, their day in 15 or 30 minute slots from when they wake up to when they sleep, and then analyze what, in terms of what activities they do through that throughout that day. And, um, and across a week or something. And then we look at it together. And sometimes they realize that, you know, the, the stress of not having time is actually um, a false stress because yeah. they do have a good, for example, couple of hours in the evening that they could do something that uh, kind of de-stresses them. Um, scrolling through Instagram for an hour and a half does not work. Uh, but if I put aside 15 minutes for a breathing exercise and some meditation, and I'm not asking them to give up their hour and 15 minutes of, of Instagram, then that works. Getting off the screen sometime at least. I know for some people they might not have the two-hour window, but at least half an hour. We even started doing it with our son. So that last half an hour before his bedtime, we started switching off all uh, forms of uh, media and all forms of screen, and it's reading time for the whole family. So mm -hmm. he's also established as a routine for himself um there's also for those that are interested um some form of aromatherapy that helps as well so if, if you've got i'm sure most of us ladies i mean i had an obsession uh, collecting candles well scented candles um dig up those candles or if you've got essential oils um, on a burner um, some lavender would help as well there are those relaxing aromas that you can also infuse in the room um, to set you in the mood um, these are all some of the, the just um, the whole point is to kind of get your brain to slow down. Your routine, whether that's a morning, afternoon or evening routine, is very subjective. You have to create one that works for you, for your rhythm of life, for, you know, what whatever setting you have in your life. I started with the business, uh, more business coaching. I always set my timings as per um, my husband's working hours, my son's school hours and stuff. So it was that mostly. My entrepreneurial journey was always around his nursery times and his school times, which was really tough because that means it meant that I never got a break. And once he was sleeping, then I was either studying or working. I was going through my doctorate degree then. But I believe, of course, there are always compromises and sacrifices. It just depends on what do you want and what are you working towards. And you will you will make it happen. It's just a matter of time management. But now the lesson I learned is always still put some time aside for you because that is really, really important. I used to uh, encourage people when, when we used to go to work and, and drive and stuff that to utilize that time for learning and for some form of evolvement and to engage in something that um, excites them, whether that's listening to an audiobook or a podcast or a YouTube channel or even just even um, music that, that relaxes them. And it is that time that we usually overlook and don't see it as time that we've got, but it, it is time we've got. So it is it is utilizing those times. Um, the other day I was doing laundry and ironing, and yes, I don't know why I iron, but we we decided to do it as a family activity and i have music in the background or i had a, a podcast in my uh in my with my headphones on or my airpods on so um finding that time is really important to start something that you're engaged in and you enjoy and then beyond that you will find that you will allocate time to it